Animal skulls were a favorite component for the artist Jean Tangli, despite the fact that they could be very hard to come by. However, in the attic of the Beckler's home in Zurich, Tangli found a treasure trove. Hans Beckler, an avid hunter, had collected many wild game trophies over his lifetime. The artist was often admitted to select any number of mysterious and beautiful discoveries there. Tangli did not make this work, Execution of 1990, expressly for the Becklers. Instead, Andreas Beckler found it through the Swiss gallery owner Thomas Roosterholz when he was looking for Tangli works to add to his own collection. Michael Godfrey, Andreas's curator at the time, recalled that upon seeing the work, they discovered Hans's handwritten small paper tag that identified the trophy as his own. Tangli was one of the pioneering kinetic artists of the 20th century, creating works from industrial scrap, treasures from trash heaps, discarded children's toys, even furniture and architectural fragments. He animated all of these with lights and electric motors, driven by his own idiosyncratic and delightful form of engineering. He worked in this manner in a wide variety of scales, as represented by his immense and infamous homage in New York from 1960, a room-sized, self-destructing machine whose explosions and smoke so upset some of the attendees that the New York City Fire Department was summoned to put an end to the fateful performance of Tangli's work. Execution is built of various parts, including wheels whose broken spokes create sound, fan belts, rattling chains, various bits and scraps of metal, and the skeletal head and antlers of a deer, courtesy of the Becklers. It is solemn and balletic, by turns rhythmic and stuttering. But there is a strange and gentle nobility to be found in this composition. The result, perhaps, of its delicate balance, the rejuvenation of detritus, and its enduring and mysterious charm.